The simplest way to remember camera, lights, audio. Hello guys, I made a video before on how to make a YouTube studio, but I wanted to make another video where I can quickly tell you all the steps in order to improve the quality of your videos. Right now my main lights are off and my blinds are open. If the cloud moves right now and the sun comes out, I'm gonna have a complete different light. So you wanna be able to control your light. What lights do I have? is not the same as what lights I want. This is what I have and it works so far for me. The Aperture AL528. It's a kit of three lights, but I really only use two of them for videos like this. I've been looking at a lot of different YouTubers and the best ones with the best quality, they all use this one. The Aperture 120D and a light dome. Let's close the blinds and turn the light on so you see the difference. So now the light is more controlled and for a cinematic and more natural look, you wanna have it 45 degrees from you to the side and from above, not too low, not too high. For these lights, I got a separate order of a soft box and it wasn't soft enough, so I had to use another diffuser that I put right in front of them to make it extra soft. So that's the main light. You can opt to have a fill light filling the other side of your face that is kind of dark. It's not very important that you have it. I don't like it, so I don't use it. What I do use is a hair light, light that is behind you to create a rim around you like this. It helps separate you from the background. Another light that can add to your look, it's something to light the background. For example, I use these LEDs that make the whole difference because it glows behind me. And you know, the wall is already blue, but I do have these gels that if you put them over your lights, they reflect that color lights. You can use any camera you have, like a cell phone, anything you want. It's always better to have something more professional. I use a Canon 60 Mark II. This is what I have. It's great, it has a flip screen, it has Wi-Fi so I can take a picture and download the picture right on the spot, and it's affordable. But what I want is a Canon EOS R. It's a newer camera, it's lighter, smaller, it also has a flip screen. You can film your videos in a format known as RAW, which means that you have more possibilities to edit your video and change the colors. Now for your camera, you're gonna need lenses, right? Uh, and the lenses depend on the space that you have. I have a small kind of room. What I want, it will be a 35 millimeter 1.4. What I have, it's a 50 millimeter 1.4. Just so you see the difference between uh, 50 millimeter and something wider, for example, you can see this, this is a 16 millimeter over here. So a 35 will be kind of in between, but you know what? You use what you have, right? And this is what I have right now. I said a couple of times 1.4. If you don't know anything about lenses, that just refers to the aperture. So the smaller the number, the more open your lens is and the more blurry the background will be. But if you're not careful with this, you can end up with having just sharp eye and super blurry nose, super blurry ears. In order to avoid this, you can set your aperture, for example, at two, which is what I have right now, and the whole depth of my head is in focus, and yet my guitars behind me are still kind of blurry. My person doing my lawn, it's right behind that wall in front of me, so you can probably hear him now. So right now it's super loud actually, but because the microphone is so close to my mouth, it's not as noticeable as it would be if I was capturing the sound in a different way with a microphone farther from me. I'm using a Rode NTG4 Plus. It's what I wanted and it's what I have. My recorder is a Zoom H6 handy recorder. This device is extremely versatile. You can capture things like this, capture live shows. I plug my mixer right to it and I have the whole show recorded. I also use it to record the sounds around me like birds or a car passing by and I can add this to my B-roll and my videos to make them more cinematic. So let's pretend that you got your camera your main light, your hair light, the background light, separated the couch from the background to get it more blurry, a nice microphone right above your face, a recorder for it, and now you're wondering what settings to use. No problem. My settings are 1080p, 24 frames per second, 
shutter speed is 50, aperture is 2, ISO is 250, my white balance is 5300K, and my picture profile is neutral. There you go, everything you need to know in order to start making high quality videos. I'm gonna travel back in time to two years ago with this video and I'm gonna show it to myself. It took me two years to learn all this and it's only taking you, what, five minutes? Make sure you subscribe and like. I'm gonna go say hi to my friend making the lawn, but I will see you very soon. Goodbye.